Hi, this is Kurt with Two Bear Arms. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. One of the reviews that I want to do today, and I wanted to take a couple weeks and try these holsters out before I talked about them, but this is Mernicle Leather. This is from Mernicle Holster Company. Uh, they're located in Texas. Fantastic company. Um, I have a lot of their leather products, but these were their concealed carry holsters that uh, I obtained from them. And I wanted to talk just a little bit about those to you today. This one, as you can see, is a 1911 style holster. Some of the things that I really, really love about this holster after wearing it around for a couple of weeks is that the stitching system on this is very robust. Um, there, there's no fear whatsoever that you're going to end up having stitching tear loose or that the gun um, becomes loose inside the holster. There's a very, very tight purchase inside the holster, which is fantastic. And then as you can see, they have wasted no material on this. They have not set up any high flaps on here, which would be the easy way to do it, but that would lay against the body in a lot of cases. With this holster, they've also added in a flap system here that helps keep, and you'll notice that it has a knuckle on it here, if you will, or a plate, and that lays, that keeps the gun in a very vertical position on the body. This is very important because without that there, the gun wants to, by weight, lean out away from the body. In other words, this way. With this in place, it keeps it more straight up and down, helping with the concealed carry, helping with the draw aspect, and also helping with weight fatigue of the firearm. This is something people don't take into consideration when they're looking at holsters a lot of times. Weight fatigue, leaning out away from your body, the firearm causes your back to do a, a micro curve, if you will, and causes back pain from carrying the gun. It's not necessarily the weight of the gun because in most cases, even a 1911 at 30 plus, you know, 30 to 35 ounces is yet heavy, but not heavy enough. It should be causing you any issues. It's more than likely your holster that's the issue. So Mernicle Holsters uh, produces holsters for anything. There again, this is the standard 1911. They can make it in any color, patterns. They have a lot of options on their website. We carry their holsters uh, in stock in the store. And to show you one other one that shows you that they can do unique stuff, here is a HKP7. Not a very common gun. They haven't even produced them in many, many years. But this is a P7 left-handed. Okay, so how often do you see a left-handed holster available for all the lefties out there? I'm a lefty, so this is designed directly for me. This one, because of the low seating profile of the gun, doesn't need the flap system placed on the gun. The gun's going to ride tight against my body. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent holster. Um, has the sweat protector built into it here that takes it all the way up to the top of the firearm. So then that way she lays nice and smooth against the body. And there again, trigger fully protected, but yet generous purchase on the firearm is very easily, easily obtained on the firearm. Mernicle holsters for all your leather needs. You can find them on their website at Mernicle Leather, or you can stop in here at Two Bear Arms, take a look at their concealed carry holsters. Also, we carry a full array of their cowboy action holsters, which is something that they are very big in as a very per a large percentage of their business is their cowboy action uh, competition holsters and gun belts. We have all that in stock here for you to take a look at. Stop around, take a look, or check out their website and then stop in and we can get it for you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Have a good day.